long have I had lipstick on my teeth? I don't know, and tell me. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be doing a review and first impressions and a little bit of a eyeshadow tutorial on the brand new Violet Boss Flamingo eyeshadow palette. Um, this was just recently pre-released on the Violet Boss website so I was able to purchase it then. It looks like it's not available right now on, sorry I have my phone pulled up because I'm trying to give you all some information on this, um, but it looks like it was actually um, just available for that limited time as a pre-release on their um, on the Violet Boss website. So it is only available right now, I want to say, on Sephora's website. So retails for $45. And so I feel like like the box, like it's just, the packaging is beautiful. Um, it just really makes me just really want to go to the beach, to be honest with you. And so it does come with a really big mirror, which is really nice. And here are all the shades. There are 20 shades. There are some shimmers and mattes. It does have all of the shade names on the palette, so I really like that as well. They kind of covered all the bases with it. Um, it is magnetic. Feels pretty, feels pretty hefty, like it's not just going to break all the shadows if you drop it or something. I don't know. I'm going to share with you all how I came up with this eyeshadow look. And, and first things first, I'm actually going to insert um, some clips of the swatches of all of these so that you have kind of an idea of what they look like, what all the shades look like. And I know swatches really are no indication of how a eyeshadow will actually perform and wear, um, but I know a lot of people like them. They are kind of just fun to look at. I don't know, I love just getting online and looking at eyeshadow swatches. Am I the only one? Does that make me weird? Probably. Anyways, um, <laughs> be sure to subscribe before you leave if you're not already. Hit the little notification bell too so that you're notified every time I upload videos. I do upload new videos weekly so you don't want to miss out. Oh and before we get started, I'm sorry, by the way, all the makeup that's on my face right now is actually going to be in my next video that I post. It's going to be a face of first impressions, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. It should be posted shortly after this one, so yeah, be sure to watch out for that so you don't miss out. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so from left to right, the shades are Flamingos, Donut, Flip Flops, Bikini, Oceanfront, Tidal Wave, Beach Ball, Watermelon, Lemonade, and Pineapple. And the last 10 shades from left to right as well, Popsicle, Sunbathe, Surf, Coral, Island, Sand, Seashell, Pinwheel, Sandals, and Sunnies. And it really does look like the shade Popsicle and Sunbathe are super similar when they are swatched. And Sand is a super, super light uh, baby pink shade, so it really had a hard time showing up on my fair skin. So just keep that in mind. Okay, to start off this tutorial, we are going in with the shade Lemonade with a fluffy blending brush and a Sigma E40 all into the crease as a transition shade and building that up until we are happy with how deep the color is. And then we're going to go in with the shade Flamingo. It's a beautiful coral color on a smaller blending brush, focusing that on the outer V of the eye. And next, we're going in with the shade Watermelon, which is kind of a deeper pink color. We're going to go in with a, a blending brush as well and kind of keep it on the outer V, but also bring it in a little bit farther than we did with Flamingos. We're going with a flat shader brush and pack that Flamingos and Watermelon shade onto the outer corner, just to kind of build it up a little bit more. Give it a little more depth. And just kind of blend that together with a blending brush. And then back in with the shade Lemonade on the inner corner of the eye just to build that shade up a little bit more. Make it stand out just a bit more. We're going to cut the halo eye or cut the crease for our halo eye and I just went in with some ColourPop and no filter concealer. Just a flat shader brush with that. Going with our finger actually with the shade Tidal Wave. It's a gorgeous aqua blue color and we're just going to put that all on where we cut the crease for our halo eye. 
And then we're going to go back in with the shade Lemonade on a flat shader brush and just uh, deepen up that inner corner. The shade's pretty light, so it took a little, took a few layers. Then we're going to end with the shade Pineapple, which is a shimmer yellow, and we're going in with our finger on the inner corner as well. And then back in with the shade Flamingo with our fluffy blending brush, our E40. We're going to just deepen up that outer V. And then in with a, another layer of the shade Tidal Wave with a brush. Then back in with the shade Pineapple on the inner corner just to continue building that yellow up and make it pop a little bit more. And we're just kind of marrying all that together with a brush with no extra product on it. And then back in with the shade Flamingo on a really small blending brush just to really define that outer corner. And then back in one more time with the shade Pineapple to really build the inner corner up just as much as you want. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is the finished eye look um, as well as the rest of my full face. Be sure to go check out that video. It's going to be posted after this one, full face, first impressions. Be sure to check it out. You should be on the lookout for it, okay? Because it'll be up soon. Uh, but yeah, so this is the final look with um, lashes, a little bit of liner. Um, I blew out the lower lash line with the shade uh, flamingos and watermelon. So like those first two kind of shades that we went in to the crease with. Hey you guys, this is editing Elizabeth here. I completely forgot to actually give you all my final thoughts on this palette besides the fact that it is beautiful. Um, so for the most part, the mattes blended out, uh, pretty well. The shimmers, they blended out, um, well, the shimmers, I would say they applied very well. Uh, they definitely go on a lot better with a finger. So just keep that in mind if you are thinking about purchasing this palette. It is a just gorgeous palette. Um, the shades are super pigmented. Now, some of the lighter shades, I will say like the Lemonade shade, the first shade that I went in with, um, it definitely had to be built up quite a bit. So again, just keep that in mind also. And yeah, so those are kind of my thoughts. Um, like I said, it blended out well. They seem to stay on pretty well. So yeah, all in all, I say that this palette, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I blew those out on the lower lash line. Oh, I did also add highlight to the inner corner and um, brow bone too. So give a little close up. Yeah, this is definitely not a look like that I would wear every day or like my go-to look or anything like that by any means. It's not something I would normally do, but for this video, I feel like it would be fun to just kind of branch out and try something new, try something more colorful. Um, I mean, I need to start just getting out of my comfort zone. And I know it's kind of hard, you know, I mean, it's really hard for me sometimes, but I'm working on it. I'm trying and I feel like I did pretty well. I hope, I hope it looks good. <laughs> Because I feel like it looks good. Um, I don't know. And I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Hit the little notification bell too. So you're notified every time I upload. Because I do upload new videos weekly. And you don't want to miss out. How long have I had lipstick on my teeth? I don't know. Tell me. So yeah, I hope you all like this look. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you all in my next video.